Selena Gomez has recently been hospitalized twice due to white blood cell counts and recently suffered a panic attack. Selena Gomez is seeking treatment after suffering an emotional breakdown while in the hospital. The 26-year-old Wolves singer has been hospitalized twice over the past few weeks, both times due to low white blood cell counts, which can be a side effect for kidney transplant patients. During her second visit, Gomez had a panic attack. She had had a tough few weeks and the panic attack in hospital was the turning point. She realized she needed to seek additional help for her ongoing emotional issues. She is surrounded by close family and has a lot of support. She is doing better now and is seeking treatment on the East Coast. The singer undergoes dialectical behavioral therapy, a therapeutic approach designed to help try to identify and then change negative thinking and behavioral patterns, the news first reported by TMZ came just weeks after Gomez announced she would be taking a break from social media. As much as I'm grateful for the voice that social media provides each of us, I'm also grateful that I've been able to step back and live my life present to the moment I've been given. Kindness and encouragement just a little bit. Just remember that negative comments can hurt anyone's feelings, he added. Around this time last year, Gomez shocked fans by revealing that, due to complications from lupus, she received a kidney transplant from her best friend Francia Reza over the summer. Gomez and Reza, 30, talked about the process during an interview with Today in October 2017. I just finished my college, Gomez told Savannah Guthrie. That was it. And I never wanted to ask anyone in my life. The idea of asking someone to do this was very difficult for me. I volunteered and did it, let alone for someone willing to volunteer. It's very difficult to find a partner, the fact that they were a match. I mean, that's unbelievable. This is not for real. Reza was sharing a house with Gomez when she realized how vulnerable her friend had become. One day she came home and was emotional. I didn't ask for anything. I knew she wasn't feeling well, the actress said. She couldn't open a bottle of water one day. I threw it away and started crying. I said, what's the problem? And then she told me, she says, I don't know what to do. The list ranges from seven to ten years. Risa continued, I just threw up on myself. So I said to myself, of course I will get tested, explaining that they were in an emergency situation. Reza completed her test in one day, a process that usually takes about six months. The recovery process was difficult. Women were unable to do anything from putting on underwear to bathing without assistance. Gomez also said they were on bed rest and only allowed to walk for an hour each day. Reza said this experience brought them closer together. I am so grateful that God entrusted me with something that not only saved my life, but changed my life in the process, she said. Gomez has been open about her battle with lupus for several years, first revealing in 2015 that she underwent chemotherapy to treat the disease. Lupus causes the immune system to attack its own organs and tissues and can affect the entire body. According to the Lupus Foundation of America, about half of systemic lupus cases affect a major organ such as the heart, lung, kidney, or brain. In some cases, it may take years for the disease to be properly diagnosed and treated. Gomez gets candid about focusing on her emotional health in her new cover story with Harper's. Bizarre. Selena Gomez recently sought treatment for her ongoing battle with depression and anxiety, and now the star is speaking out about putting her health first. In Harper's Bazaar's March cover story, the Wolves singer opens up about focusing on her well-being in 2018. I've had a lot of issues with depression and anxiety and I've been very open about it. But it's not something I feel like I'll ever overcome, she said. There will never come a day when I say, here I am. Wearing a beautiful dress, I have one. I think it is a battle I will have to face for the rest of my life, and I am. Well, though, because I know I'm choosing myself over anything else. Although Gomez has had plenty of new hits, including It Ain't Me, Fetish and Wolves since she released her last album revival in 2015. The 25-year-old says she's intentionally taking her time on her next album. My next album has been forever in the making.
When people ask me why, I'm honest, it's because I wasn't ready, said Gomez, who underwent a kidney transplant last year. I mean, honestly, I don't feel confident enough about where my music stands yet, if it takes ten years. It will take ten years. I'm not interested. If you find this content suitable for you and you will like to have more contents like this please take some time to subscribe, turn on notification button so that you will be the first to watch the next video, like, comment and share this video. Thanks for watching.